Hi, in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at Xsession files and the Xmonad stack install. The Xmonad stack install, which I covered in a previous video, is basically installing Xmonad uh, directly with Haskell instead of your package manager. And the reason why you might want to do this is because Xmonad um, 017 um, isn't in, um, for instance, the Ubuntu repos that I use, and it still isn't in the Arch repos. So installing it manually using Stack allows you to get the latest um, version of Xmonad. Now, in a previous video, what I did was covered how you can create an Xsession file. And an Xsession file is basically a file that tells your login manager how to launch into um, your window manager or your desktop. So what I did in a previous video, um, if I come down here um, to these notes, what the issue is, you basically create a desktop um, file like this, and typically you'd say like execute xmonad. Now the issue is that xmonad installed with stack is going to be installed into your home directory local bin xmonad, and what happens is the login manager searches for xmonad the xmonad binary but it doesn't search your user path basically it only search the system path so it can't find the location of the xmonad binary and so what happens is you'll just get into this loop where you will try and log in and it will either boot back into your login screen or if you have another desktop like gnome occasionally it will boot into gnome so that's really irritating and I couldn't actually find any uh, fix for this. So the simple fix that I came up with was to actually create a symbolic link from local bin xmonad to user bin. Um, and what that does is that creates a file in user bin called xmonad that points to local bin xmonad. And once you've done that and you created a desktop file like this, you copy it into user share user share X sessions and basically that will fix the issue. It will um, trick the login manager um, into searching for the xmonad binary in local bin xmonad and it will launch. Um, I had a request from a viewer to actually raise an issue um, on the xmonad um, install page on, on this page um, about the instructions because they'd come across the same issue as I had and um, it wasn't until they find, found the video that I did that they came across this sort of little fix that I come up with. Um, I was talking to the um, Xmonad developers and they said, no, no, we're not going to recommend um, to people that, you know, you you know you create a symbolic link because that's sort of bad practice and I suppose it doesn't really look, um, look good in the documentation to, you know, have a kind of hacky fix like this. Um, now the issue is if you um, if you don't create a symbolic link and you try and launch xmonad from a accession file like this, um, you just put xmonad in. As I said, it's not going to work. So the next thing you might think to do is actually put in the full path to xmonad, uh, which would be your home directory. Um, I think it's local bin xmonad or something um and quickly check that um uh, local share, local share yeah it's in local share xmonad um so even if you put a full path in here to home directory username uh, local share xmonad you'll still get the same issue. It still won't actually log in. It will basically return you to the login screen. And what one of the um, developers mentioned was what they actually do um, that they don't mention in the install file is they put in a link to a custom script in their home directory. And then in that script, they then launch xmonad. Um, but as I said, that's not actually documented. Um, so this is one quick fix um, to get it working. Um, as a um, another option um, would be to link to a custom script and then launch xmonad but it turns out there's another way to um, launch xmonad that is actually 
um, faster, particularly on older hardware. And what that is, is to link to the Xmonad Arc executable. Basically, when you um, recompile Xmonad, what it does is it creates this uh, sort of cached file. Um, and the reason why this is useful is because every time you log into Xmonad, what happens is it has to recom it recompiles. Um, and this is an issue, uh, particularly on older hardware, um, because it's going to recompile Xmonad before you can log in every single time. And that's quite annoying. I have a um, 2011 uh, MacBook Air laptop uh, running Ubuntu and Xmonad. And just even just using um, this, te this technique, creating a symbolic link um, to use a bin Xmonad, um, will require Xmonad to recompile every time you log in. Um, and it's, you know, it's going to take, you know, four or five seconds on really old hardware. Um, so what you can actually do is um, link to the cached version of the Xmonad file, which is in home username cache Xmonad, Xmonad dash x86 underscore 64 dash Linux. So what you can do um, which doesn't require creating a symbolic link is creating a desktop file like this um, with execute um, as I said home username dot cache xmonad and the rest of it and you can then copy that to you can then copy that xmonad dot desktop file to user share x sessions and once you've done that um, and you basically um, log in again or you know boot up for the first time it's going to um, make xmonad use the cached version um, of the um, of xmonad basically uh, as i said every time you recompile it creates a cached version as well and using this cached version is much quicker so as i said coming across to the documentation um, if you come down to the bottom down here there's a note, don't recompile on every um, startup. By default, Xmonad always recompiles itself when the build script is used. Um, and basically, this is saying, instead of writing Xmonad, execute um, Xmonad, in, mentioning your Xinit RC file here. So this is a bit confusing because if you're using a, um, an X session file, the variables won't work. So... In your, um, if you're using a Xinit RC file, you can do this, that, and that will work if you're just starting with Start X. But if you're using a graphical login manager, um, you know that like ships with, um, for instance, Ubuntu, um, that's not going to work because the um, the variables aren't picked up in the X session file. So what you actually have to do is put in the full path. Um, to the cached version and once you've done that uh, it will basically uh, work and it will be much faster to log in um, there, there aren't any sort of you know issues that I've come across I've um, set this up on two machines um, both running Ubuntu 2004 and the stack um, install of Xmonad 0 0.17 um, and it's much much faster particularly on older hardware because it's not going to recompile everything and then log in. Um, it will just see the cached binary um, and use that and allow you to log in. So it's much faster. So as I said, basically, um, there's two, um, well, three options really um, to do this. Um, as I said, you've got two ways of logging in. You can either use your Xinit RC if you're just using StarTex. But if you're using a um, graphical login manager, um, you'll need to create an accession file. As I said, the quick and easy um, fix um, is basically to create a symbolic link from local bin xmonad to user bin. And that creates a symbolic link in there called xmonad that points to this directory. And you can create a desktop file like this and it will work. Um, as I said, the uh, Xmonad um, devs, you know, weren't too keen on my sort of hacky solution. Um, and, you know, say it's not really best practice. And 
Um, I can understand that you're not really going to, um, it doesn't look great to, you know, have to put something like that in um, your documentation. Um, and as I said, what one of them, one of the devs mentioned is what they do is they put in a path to a custom script in the home directory and in that and in that script they then launch xmonad but as I said that's not actually documented on the install page um so those are um the options you know you can create a symbolic link or you can create a link to a um a script that then launches xmonad um or the other option which is particularly good for older hardware is linking to the xmonad arc executable and um, I'm actually using this on on newer hardware as well, um, you know, just to test it out, make sure it sort of you know all works. Um, so this this is what I'm using on um, a Dell XPS 15, uh, was it 2019? I think it is a 2019 model, um, and also my uh, MacBook Air 2011 uh, laptop running Xmonad as well. And it really does um, speed up the login times. You don't notice it so much on the um, the newer hardware because um, I've got 16 gig of RAM, um, you know, so it, it, it's pretty snappy anyway. But on my old MacBook Air, um, just linking um, to Xmonad with the symbolic link um, did take five or six seconds to recompile everything and then for the desktop to show up so if you're looking to um start xmonad um back install um as i said you can either do it with an xinit rc file if you're using start x but if you're using a desktop um if you're using a login manager um, you need to create a desktop file um, and as i said those are the basic options uh, you can either create, create one like this um, and create the symbolic link or um, as the dev on xmonad suggested um, creating a custom script and putting the path in here and in that custom script um, launching xmonad but as i said they didn't actually um, have any documentation about that um, on the install page um, so I'd probably actually recommend going with the second option and linking to the Xmonad Arc executable um, because there's not any issues um, that I've come across. Um, and basically, it will, um, every time you recompile, it recreates this um, cached version of Xmonad um, and it just makes it a lot faster to log in. So that's what I'd, um, I'd recommend using. Um, but you know you're free to um, use this version um, that I came up with, um, creating a symbolic link. If you want to, if you want, if you already followed this um, this setup and created a symbolic link, what you can just do is um, remove the symbolic link from user bin. So you can just do a sudo rm user bin xmonad, and then follow these instructions and basically create a desktop file like this, replace the username here with your username, save that uh, desktop entry file um, to xmonad.desktop and then sudo cp xmonad.desktop user share x sessions. And once you've done that, um, it will show up in your um, login manager just as, you know, just as normal and it will be a lot quicker to launch. So those are two um, two options um, for actually launching the stack install of um, Xmonad with an X session file. And again, the issue is basically that um, the location for the Xmonad install is going to be um, your home directory local bin Xmonad, and basically. Just creating a desktop file like this without the symbolic link won't work because it can't find the Xmonad binary. And as I said, even if you put in the full path to the Xmonad binary, which would be your home directory, um, uh, was it uh, user local share? Let me just look again. Local share 
X monad. Uh, yeah, I think it's like, yeah, I think that's is that the path? Uh, I think that's the path. Let me just double check. Um, what do we, yeah, no, it's local bit X monad. What am I thinking? Um, got it up there. So, um, so that's the sort of regular path. Um, and if you just put in, you can't put in a tilde, but if you put in home username, local bin, X monad, it doesn't actually work in this desktop. I found the same issue in that it will basically um, just boot back into your login manager. Or as I said, if you've got a second desktop, um, like GNOME installed, which comes by default with Ubuntu, it just boots into GNOME. Um, so that's very confusing for, um, you know, um, someone you know just setting this up um, you'd think you could just put in the full path but it doesn't work but actually if you create the symbolic link it does work um, so that's kind of a bit you know confusing and that's why someone asked me to submit submit a uh, issue on the um, X monad about this um, but they weren't too keen on this um, this sort of little fix um, um, and they did mention as I said um, you know an alternative is creating a link to your uh, a custom script and in that script launching xmonad but they don't actually mention that in the install page um so those are the issues um and that's you know one way to solve it creating a symbolic link um and the second version which i'd actually recommend using is linking to the cached version of the xmonad um, executable which are a lot faster to log in as i said especially with older hardware so I'll put links to all this under the video um, and hope that speeds up your Xmonad install on older hardware.